guys, welcome to Gifted Citizens. I'm here today with Dr. Sarah Jane Hill. She is uh, she has a mission, and her company, or I wouldn't say a company, her project is called Bending Horizons, and it uh, it focuses on bringing artists to where never where they have never been before. Basically, <laughs> that's so true. Um, literally uh, underwater. Yes. Uh, outer space. Yes. Outer space and. Uh, and Doctor, I, would you like to tell us a little bit about your project and how that came along? Sure. Um, it began really innocently. Um, I was looking for inspiration and I was in, living in a city and I was getting frustrated with all of the congestion and straight lines. Yeah. And I wanted movements and I wanted flow. So I said, what would it take to build an underwater studio? An underwater I, studio. Yes, because if I had a studio underwater, imagine what the, what art I would create. Imagine mm. the world that would be transformed and how I would be transformed in that space. So I recognize that the way we immerse ourselves and the way we surround ourselves by things fundamentally changes how we perform, how we express, and, and how we view the world. So I wanted this sea change. So, so I began underwater, I, I ended up... And you started creating art underwater. Yes, but there was a long process. Oh. People said, you can't just jump in. Yeah. You need to become a commercial diver. So I did, I became a commercial diver and I'm welding underwater and I'm... Really? Learning, I'm doing construction work and I'm wearing helmets and I thought this is crazy. But it opened up a whole new world. So suddenly I can sculpt underwater, suddenly I can move things and shift things and play and understand my body and use technology that allows me to go longer and deeper. So it became a PhD project and I started building a body of work, an artwork that was... That was that, created under this circumstance. Under the, yes. And I would create works for galleries and museums that would show how we breathe, how we feel like we're flying, how we feel really closed and we're very conscious of our breath and our body, all sorts of work. And when I finished my PhD, I received a scholarship to the International Space University. And, and then the connection was made. Everything we do underwater is what is the same considerations for space. And in fact, we train underwater to prepare for space. Our, our astronauts and the people that go, yes. yeah, travel. Yeah. So it became a natural transition. So from 2006 onwards, it became a mission. And I said, every space project needs an artist. It brings a dis an interdisciplinary focus. It brings um, new perspectives, new visions. It brings innovation. And it creates a different cultural dynamic within a team or a group. If you've got scientists, engineers, lawyers working together, you bring an artist in the mix. And suddenly, there's a new cohesion and a new possibility. Why would you think that usually when there's a space exploration where there are, you know, things uh, of this nature, there's yes. usually people think of scientists, engineers, yes. they think of technicians, and they think of, you know, the legality aspect of it, again, yes. the politics, yes. but they wouldn't include an artist to bring that other side. Why would you think before, that now that, that you're bringing this, yes. so why would you think before it wasn't even considered? Well, I think uh, these are high-risk environments. So, and you have a lot of technical complexity in those environments and not much room for mar margin for error. And we, uh, they look for reliability and predictability. So the type of improvisation and the type of uh, expression that artists free are well huh? free form yeah. is, not, is something a little that they're a little nervous of. But increasingly, as we have started to establish, you know, we've, be, we've been able to build and uh, launch things into space for over 50 years yeah. and we've had humans successfully living and working in space. We're now in a new era where we're experimenting in space. We've done a lot of the build. We can conduct the experiments. Now, artists experiment all the time and astronauts are increasingly asked to be better communicators, to show the human condition, the human side, the social side, to interact with people, to, to literally perform. Basically, when yes. they're when they're asked to to re register how the, how yes. they feel when they're there, yes. how they produce, yes. what, what what can they what can they come up with? That's right. So uh, we often talk way. about that as as education and outreach, and and we don't call it publicity or PR. It's very much about 
engaging people in the science, engaging people in exploration. But human exploration and space exploration is, and we know this historically, it's not just about the going, it's, a, it's about how we relate to that experience, what it means, what it means for us as a civilization. And the arts are used to conceptualizing these things, to understand and reflect, to probe, to ask new questions and put things together in new ways that, that create a really dynamic perspective. And as we move forward, there's a commercial space industry opening up now. Yeah, yeah. There are new players, mm -hmm. there are new people coming on board. It's the perfect opportunity for artists to be recognized as, as having unique skills and transferable skills that could be really harnessed to, to really uh, bring great benefit to the next, I guess, epoch of spacefaring uh, civilization. One thing that I would, you know, a natural progression of that, I would think whenever we started doing uh, the internet and all the, the cyber exploration, yes. how the artistry now through mapping and yes. through the multimedia installations and yes. all these was a natural pr progression. And now it even speaks of how we interact and how we walk with our smartphones. That's and right. Artists have a very big say on how how to you know reflect how society looks at that and, and, and works through that. True. And that and would be another progression when, when these other uh, as underwater and, and, and space yes. starts to grow. Yes, that's so true. And it's about, in some senses, reflecting. It's sometimes predicting. It's sometimes critiquing. Um, so the art plays an, an, all sorts of roles within a society and within any group. And we, we thrive off it. It stimulates us, it challenges us, it gives us a release, a, a form of just uh, escapism sometimes, <laughs> or provocation sometimes. So um, it, it also brings something really interesting to crew dynamics. Mm. And you're right, it, it, do, it doesn't have to be the remote crew, it could be he, us here on Earth to have some signal or sign of life, some poetry that enables us to share the experience in a new way. It, it, it enables us to grow, it enriches us as people. Well, I can tell you, I mean, you sure are a, a visionary artist, and I, I'm sure more people, more and more people in the, through the explorations are looking at, at your work and your uh, perspective and your, your projection of, of where artists should be at, and I'm sure it, it'll be a natural cost and, and people are going to get there, artists are going to get there, so. Well, I think so. I'm, I'm going through the stepping stones. Um, I'm actually participating in missions and exploration, which is fantastic. Um, I've, I've used my technical skills uh, and operational skills in a commercial diving environment as a, as a prerequisite. So I don't, I'm not a pilot, but I'm a commercial diver, so I can put myself forward for some of these uh, simulations and analog missions that happen here on Earth in preparation for space, so that's one step. And um, I'm training to qualify for all types of expeditionary work and historically, artists used to be involved in expeditions all the time. And um, I think we can, you know, embrace that again. And um, you're right, it will, it will open up new pathways for a lot of people. I mean, that's the human spirit. We're, we're yeah. explorers. Yes. And that, that you're bringing a whole community yes. of artists into this, into the boat. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. Doctor. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you to show. Stay tuned.